Shut up, just get to the message. Damn, you doing a lot. <laughs> Gemini, what's up, baby? I hope you guys are doing well. Sending you guys lots of love. I sure love y'all, my fellow air signs. What's up, Jim? This is for you, baby. Sun, moon, Venus, rising in North Node, Gemini placements. Cross watches for Geminis. You are definitely welcome. If you are dealing with a Gemini and want to tap in, you definitely free. Definitely are free to tap in, okay? Feel free to tap in. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there. Please use your discernment wisely. I am picking up on multiple storylines, multiple energies. Everything may not be for you. Please don't force it if it's not your story, okay? Please use your discernment. Again, this is for Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and North Node, Gemini placements, all right? All right, capiche, capiche. Gemini, 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 what you got going on? What you doing? What you got going on? We about to see. Welcome back if you are returning and if you are new tapping in for the first time, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. I hope this message gives you some clarity. I hope it resonates with you. I hope you subscribe to the channel, become part of the family, okay? I definitely appreciate you for being here and I would love if you stay. I would love if you stayed. Gemini, what's up, baby? Let's talk. Let's see what's going on, sugar. What is going on? What is it that y'all need to know right now? Let's see. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Happy October, Gemini. I hope you all have a beautiful month. All right. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node, Gemini. Father, God, Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, all that protect and guide me. Those are the highest white light. I ask that you come in, surround me, cover, shield, protect, and bless my energy as I channel these messages for Gemini. I also ask that you cover, shield, protect, and bless the Gemini Collective that's watching this for their highest good. What messages do you have for Gemini during this time? What is it that you want to tell my Geminis? Some of you could be connected to a Taurus, okay? Or you could have strong Taurus in your, in your chart, all right? But I'm picking up on strong Taurus energy, okay? Some of you may feel like somebody is playing with you and they got you fucked up, okay? I'm getting some real, like, um, aggressive energy. Either you feeling this way towards someone or somebody's feeling this way towards you. But I'm picking up on aggression here, okay? You could have blocked somebody or somebody could have blocked you, Okay? I'm hearing that somebody feels like someone ghosted them. Okay, Gemini, did you ghost somebody? If you ghosted somebody, this person is pissed off with you. Or vice versa, Gemini, you could be pissed off with somebody because they ghosted you. Some shit like that for some of y'all. All right, let's see what's going on, Gem. Two more shuffles for my Geminis. Spirit, what does Gemini need to know right now? Holy Spirit, what does Gemini need to know right now? Last shuffle for my Gems. Yeah, there go that Taurus energy again. The Hyrule Fountain in the Reverse keeps showing itself. Okay? Let's see what's going on with you, Gem. Three of Pentacles, baby. Okay, first part out, we have the Three of Pentacles. Okay. We also have the Seven of Wands. Give me a message for Gemini. Okay, Spirit, what messages do you have for my Gemini today? Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles reverse and a Page of Cups reverse. Somebody's going to miss out on you if they don't act right. For some of you, somebody did miss out on you. You may know that this person wants to return. You also may know that this person's going through a towel moment. You may also know that this person is going through financial issues. And you don't care. That's not your problem. I'm hearing you don't give a damn. That ain't got nothing to do with you. What that got to do with you? What that got to do with the price of rice in China? Jennifer, uh, I was about to say Jennifer. Some of y'all, your name could be Jennifer. Somebody's name could be Jennifer. Somebody here could be dealing with a Jennifer or Gemini. Your name is Jennifer. I just heard Jennifer. Um, but um, Gemini, I just feel like you like, oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, they going through a time moment. That's too bad. Oh, this person missed out on me. That's too bad. Oh, I'm the one that got away. That's too bad. 
Gemini, you saying that's too bad. Too bad, too sad, so sad. Oh, well, cry me a river. Okay, get the violence out. Gemini, you don't give a fuck. Okay? I mean, you really do not care. Not even in the slightest bit at all. What did this person do? For some of y'all, this person could have hurt your feelings. They could have ghosted you. They could have blocked you. They could have betrayed you. They could have gave you their ass to kiss. Whoever this is, they I feel like they thinking about you now. They may want to invest in you, but they don't have much to offer. You know that this person's going through a time moment. Y'all also know that this person got a lot of drama in their life right now. Some of y'all like, yeah, this person got a lot of drama. They got a lot going on. This person want to talk to me or come towards me, but they got too much drama attached to them. They got too much baggage. I'm good. <laughs> Gemini, you like, I'm good. You sitting real pretty, Gemini, in this Nine of Cups energy. Very independent, very self-sufficient. Yeah, you like, nah, that, you ain't coming over here with that, okay? You ain't coming over here giving me no damn headache. Stay right where you at. Gemini, here you are, showing up as the lovers. You've made your choice. Your choice was you. I'm hearing I choose me. You chose yourself. Some of y'all can have Pisces or Cancer in your chart. Whoever this is, they want to connect with you. This is somebody that wants to sleep with you. For some of you, you also have a friend that wants to be more, okay? This person may not necessarily want to be in a relationship with you, but this person definitely want to sleep with you. Clarify this two of cups and this ace of wands. Some of y'all definitely got a friend that's trying to knock your boots. This person could be a Scorpio or a fire sign. This person sleep around. They sleep around. Some of y'all know this. Some of y'all definitely got somebody that was cheating on you or playing games from your past that's also trying to come back around. This person could also be a fire sign. I'm picking up on strong Sagittarius and Leo. We got the temperance and the strength in the reverse. Uh, Gemini, you could also have strong fire in your chart. Somebody here is telling you. Also, Gemini, I'm getting that if you are in a connection with somebody, somebody telling you that you shouldn't be faithful to that person because that person ain't faithful to you. So what's up? Like somebody here being real, like straightforward, real direct. I'm getting a lot of mixed messages here. Y'all take what resonates and leave the rest, child. I told you, I'm going to pick up on multiple energies. Gemini, you got a lot going on. For some of y'all, some things are resonating with y'all and some are not. Because everything's not going to be for everybody. This this is like a bunch of mixed messages I don't got. Some of y'all are actually in a connection with someone. And this person may have a reputation for being a player because they're showing up as the king of wands in the reverse. You may have a friend that really wants to be intimate with you. And this person could be in your ear like, yo, the person that you're dealing with, they got, they doing them. They, they doing them. So why you can't do you? You know what I'm saying? This person have fun on you. They have fun on the side. Why you can't have fun on the side? That's not right that this person gets to do what they want and you don't get to do what you want. Gemini, let your head down. Be free. Don't you, don't you have desires? Don't you have needs as well? It's like, what? Who this? Like, this person is a smooth talker. This person, like, don't you have needs and desires as well? This person getting theirs, why don't you get yours too? This person trying to tap. When I tell you they trying to tap that ass, this person trying to tap that ass, okay? They really trying to, listen, this person trying to really, like, <laughs> they, trying to, they trying to do some, some things to you, man. They trying to bend your ass up. They said the person that you with don't deserve you or the person that you with, they cheat anyway. You know, they cheat, so you should get yours too. You should have your fun too. They really feel like you shouldn't even be with this person. Somebody here, some of y'all are in a relationship and somebody feel like you should not be with whoever you with. They saying, why don't you be single, Jim? Why don't you be single, nine of pentacles? Why don't you come out, have some fun with me? This person may even invite you out, may want to take you out. Some of y'all, y'all actually go out with this person because that's your friend, right? But I'm telling you, your friend want a little bit more. They want something else with you. For some of you, this person could be um, a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn or a Scorpio. This person sees you as someone that deserves the world. And for a lot of you, they feel like they can offer that. They feel like they can give you a lot. They damn sure feel like they could give you more than whoever you with. They like, why are you over there with that loser? Somebody here is calling somebody a loser. Somebody here could have also went through some sort of tower moment when it comes to their finances. Somebody here could have really experienced some sort of hardships with their finances with a lot of different things. And it's like, why are you with that person? Somebody here also may be like very snappy or they may have like a temper here. Some of y'all dealing with a fire sign for sure. I'm getting strong Sagittarius and Leo for some of y'all. 
I'm not getting much Aries here. I got Sagittarius and I got Leo, but it could be an Aries too. But I'm getting strong Sagittarius and Leo. But some of y'all definitely dealing with somebody that may be just um, like kind of tired and um, kind of like impatient as well and just kind of frustrated right now. Like I said, this person could be going through a lot of changes in their life right now. And this person is facing like a lot of obstacles. This person may not be in the best position right now. Gemini, you may have more than this person do right now, especially when it comes to like finances. And somebody is like in your ear telling you like, you shouldn't be with that person. You shouldn't stick it out with that person. You, you should want more. Um, you deserve more. They have more to offer. They have more to give. This person may be outdoing them. You should be outdoing you. For some of you, you know, maybe you and this person are not even really that intimate at all. And this person knows that. And they like, you deserve to get your needs fulfilled, your needs met. I know you got needs here. Whoever this is, you ain't feeling them though. Gemini, for some of y'all, y'all don't even like this person like that. For some of y'all, this could even be somebody that y'all work with. This could be somebody that y'all see on a day-to-day -day basis. Or like I said, this is an actual friend. But I feel like you don't really like this person like that. They could also be in a relationship as well with someone that they don't like, that they not in love with, that they don't want to be with. So it's like you both could be in your own separate relationships. But they telling you how unhappy you are and how much you deserve. And they don't love whoever they with. And they could be venting to you about the person that they with as well. And they just feel like you two should go off and do your own thing. Since you both have unfulfilling relationships, y'all should just do your own thing. Child. Gemini, what the hell is this? <laughs> okay. Yeah, this person is like, make a decision. What you want? You going to go back to that person or you or you trying to try something new? You trying to fuck with me? You going to stay stuck over there or you trying to party it up with me? I'm telling you, for some, for some of you, this person may be very stable. Um, they may do really well for themselves, have a great career. For others of you, this is somebody that y'all even know, you know, through the workplace. That could be somebody that y'all work with. Others of you, you know, this is somebody that you could even met through somebody that you work with. Take it as a resume. Yeah, we have an emperor here. Clarify this emperor. Somebody here um, could be an Aries as well. Yeah, I told you. Some of y'all dealing with a fire sign. Ten of wands in a reverse here. Clarify the emperor and the ten of wands in a reverse here. Some of y'all, this is somebody that you also could have children with. You may feel like this person is very dishonest. Or this person is causing a heavy burden for you in some way. Some of y'all want this person to have some sort of transformation so that they can do right by you, so that you can have a successful marriage. So some of y'all are actually married to this person or have children with this person or you in a long-term relationship with this person. And you may be seeking marriage from this person if y'all not actually already married and you just waiting for this person to change. Some of y'all are waiting for somebody to change. Y'all waiting for somebody to get their shit together or do better. So I feel like you sticking it out with whoever you with. I feel like a lot of y'all are going to choose to stick it out with this person. Okay? Yeah, just this card here. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra as well. I feel like you're going to choose to stick it out with whoever this is. That's what you want to do. That's what you intend to do. I don't really feel like you're trying to leave your man or your woman. However it may go, I don't really feel like you're trying to leave this person. Clarify the um, Hierophant Reverse and the Chariot Reverse. Knight of Wands. The high priestess. Some of y'all are very intuitive. And it's like you know that uh -huh. it's too many damn people here. I'll tell you that. Some of y'all are very intuitive, and you know that the person that you're dealing with may have someone that's still stuck on them that's obsessed with them and i feel like you ain't letting your person go so this other person can't have them it's a lot going on here some of y'all feel like this person got like a ex-wife or ex-girlfriend or a baby mama that is still stuck on them that's trying to make their life very difficult and i feel like you're not about to let you're not about to break up with your person you're not about to divorce your person you're not about to leave your person 
you know that somebody else is still stuck on them and making their life a living hell or at least trying to and i feel like you're not about to you're not about to um let them go like that that's what i'm hearing you're not about to let them go like that somebody here right is very fucking wishy-washy very fucking two-faced what is this empress reverse here seven of swords reverse nine of wands reverse some of y'all some of y'all definitely don't trust this person's ex-girlfriend ex-wife or baby mama you don't trust this person you feel like they may go back towards that person and be in a relationship with that person or this person's going to try really hard to get back with the person that you are currently with and you not going for it and i feel like whoever this friend is or this co-worker or whoever i picked up on already you definitely not about to leave your connection to be with that person play around with that person if anything you might have some fun with that person and that's as far as it's gonna go but you're not leaving whoever you're with you've already made up your mind that you're not leaving whoever you're with you're gonna stick it out and that's who you with and that's that and it's also because you know that somebody is trying to make they live a life a, their life a living hell right now and that's another reason why you're not gonna leave them and you don't want them to to be together either because you feel like this person still wants your person and you feel like there could be a chance where your person might go back towards this person and it's just not going down it's not going down i feel like you see a lot of potential in the person that you are with so even if this person is falling on hard times right now with this tower here and this ten of pentacles reverse you also feel like things are going to change for whoever this is you believe in them i'm hearing i believe in them yeah you believe in them and you're not going no fucking with them period okay gemini i heard that boo <laughs> i heard that shit stick by your man that's my man i'm gonna stick the five man. period yeah the magician yeah the magician the ten of cups and the six of cups there you are gemini showing up as a magician ten of cups yeah you know oh my god gemini you can manifest whatever you want some of y'all are very magical. You need to tap the fuck in. You got the magician and the high priestess. If you don't already uh, do something as far as like trying to manifest, you need to start getting into it because you definitely have the ability to manifest your desires. You do. Um, some of you already know that and you use it. You use it to your advantage. You could be manifesting a new home. Some of you could be manifesting your dream house during this time. I'm also getting here, clarify, clarify the six of cups here, the world reverse. I'm also getting from this too, if some of y'all have children, the person that you have children with is not the person that you could currently be with and this person is missing the hell out of you. And they're trying to manifest you, they're trying to call you in because they want to be a family again. But this is somebody that you don't want to be with. I feel like this is somebody that y'all not trying to fuck with. This person could be a Pisces or a Virgo. Or somebody with that in their chart. I feel like whoever this is, they're stressed out because they want to give to you. But this person feels like their karma is losing you and watching you be with somebody else. This person could want you to wait on them. And you're not waiting on them. You're not waiting on them. You too happy with somebody else. The sun and the three of cups and the ten of cups. You too happy with somebody else. I'm also getting for some of y'all, there's somebody that's in jail that wants you to wait on them till they get out, but you already in a new connection and you about to be extremely happy with somebody. The sun, the magician, the ten of cups and the three of cups. I mean, you and this person about to be very happy and whatever difficult time this person is going through, you're absolutely right about this not lasting, about this person going to be very happy. You see the potential in this person and you know that this person just going through a rough patch and things are going to change and you are absolutely right. This person is about to be extremely happy. Y'all both about to be extremely happy. So you are doing the right thing by standing, by staying with the person that you are with, by having faith in them, by standing, by sticking by their side. You are doing the right thing. And this ex-husband, this ex-wife, this um, baby mama, ba uh, baby daddy, whoever they want you to wait on them till they get out of jail or till they get their shit together they want to come back towards you it's not going down and then i'm seeing also too for some of you um like i said you got a friend that's trying to get you to leave somebody that you with and then i'm also seeing here for some of you 
you know the person that you are with they got a ex-wife or a baby mama or something like that that's trying to make they live a life in hell a, their life a living hell and you'll be damned if these two reconcile it's not going down it's not happening so it's, it's a lot fucking going on here <laughs> Gemini, I feel like you ain't one to be played with, okay? You believe in your relationship. You believe in your marriage. You believe in your connection. You believe in your partner. Yep, and you holding on to it, period. You're not leaving this person. You're not leaving this person so everybody could go to hell at this point. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> you said everybody could go to hell. You're not leaving this person. Gemini, listen. That's your man you're going to stick beside him. That's your woman you're going to stick beside him, period. I don't blame you because things are going to turn around. Things are going to turn around. We got the justice, the magician, the ten of cups, the sun, the three of cups. Things will turn around. Things will turn around. They will. I feel like this person, um, somebody here could have, somebody here could have left this person a home or left you a home. Uh, my condolences if someone is losing somebody and somebody has left them a home. But this is going to be a huge blessing to you and this person, Gemini, for some of you. I know it's not going to resonate with all y'all, but for some of you, I am seeing something like that as well. But this is this is happy times. This is celebration. Three of Cups, the Sun, the Ten of, the ten of Cups, the Justice, and the Magician. This is karmic justice. This is blessings. Some of y'all may also have some sort of legal case going on right now. Yo, you won. Or your, if your person has a legal case going on right now, yo, they won. This is karmic justice. This is blessings. This is happiness. This is abundance. This is manifestations coming into, into fruition, coming into play. Your manifestations are unfolding. You sticking by this person is you doing the right thing. You're doing it because you love them and you know that things are going to get better and you are absolutely right. Things are going to get better. Yes, they are. This is your confirmation that things are going to get better. Things are going to get great. Things are going to be better than they ever been. Things are going to be better than you ever could imagine. This is going to be the best it has ever been. Talk about sticking it out through thick and thin. You're doing the right thing by sticking this out. All right, Gemini, this is your message. I hope it resonated with you guys. I love y'all, and I'm going to talk to y'all soon. Peace.